This video is in English. If you want to know in Hindi, then I will give a link in the description below. Mobile or computer. In the race of internet, these two devices are extensively used in every field of technology. Without them, it seems, you know, life is incomplete because in the most difficult time, we are able to do any work very easily with the help of these two devices along with internet. But mobile is most widely used device because nowadays everyone has mobile and get it very cheap price and can easily carry in the pocket. The biggest thing is that it looks very small but does a lot of work but does multiple tasks, right? Earlier what used to be that we had to go to the market to buy something whether it was household goods or clothes. Even we had to stand in a long line in the bank to transfer or deposit money, right? But now we can do all these things sitting at home by using mobile. Apart from these two devices, there are many other devices that provide convenience to humans such as TV, washing machine, air condition, robotic and so on. What is it in those machines? I mean what programming is used in all those devices due to which we are getting such good facility. Have you ever thought how all this became possible? All this has been possible only because of Java. So that's why in today's video series we will discuss about Java. So what is Java, why you should learn, where is Java used and history of Java. These four topics we will cover in this video series. Before starting, hello, welcome to our YouTube channel Dawa CIT. If you are new and you haven't subscribed yet, then subscribe to our channel quickly and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss update technology videos. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first we talk about what is Java. Java is a programming language developed by James Gosling at Sun Microsystem in the year 1995. You know, Sun Microsystems was an American company name where James Gosling and his team members worked together and developed Java programming language, which was later acquired by Oracle Corporation on January 27, 2010. James Gosling is known as the father of Java. Why? Why he called as father of Java? Because he created the original design of Java and implemented the language original compiler and virtual machine. I mean, he is the first computer scientist who considered for developing Java programming language and has invented the authentic layout of Java and also the compiler and virtual machine. So that's why James Gosling is known as the father of Java. You know, Java is used for developing application software that can run on any device. I mean, you can create any application software by using Java and run on any operating system, whether it is Windows, Linux, Mac or Android OS. There is no restriction you can run on any operating system by using JVM. Yes, JVM is the most important role in Java because JVM provides platform independence. I mean in Java, the feature of platform independent is possible only because of JVM. It is also known as WARA, stands for write once, run anywhere. This means writing codes in one operating system and executing that codes any other operating system. And now why you should learn Java? If you are a beginner and you want to learn Java programming language, then the first thing you need to know why you should learn Java, right? Java is must for everyone who want to become a software engineer. Many applications have been created by Java and have given the world a better technology that humans are taking advantage of that according to their convenience today. Right? There are many new programming languages in the world for developing application software. And when it comes to choosing the best language, the candidate may find it difficult to choose the best one because every language has some advantages but java is one of the best languages and given best preferences by the developer why java is a very powerful programming language as compared to other programming languages because java has many good features which helps you to build an application that application you can run on any devices some of the features are object oriented platform independent easy to learn, secure, dynamic coding, architecture neutral, portable, robust. 
Due to this special features in Java, you can create such applications that can run not only on Windows but also in other operating systems like Linux, Mac, Android OS and so on. This is the reason that Java is considered the most powerful and popular programming language in modern technology. That's why you should learn Java. Now the biggest question arises that where is Java used? I will tell you everything in this video. Java is used for mobile applications, web applications, desktop applications, graphical user interface and game development. In the last decade, it is not only used in mobile, desktop, web and game development, but also used in washing machine, TV, air condition, robotic, car navigation systems, medical monitoring device and so on. So that is the reason Java is the world's most popular programming language which is used in modern technology. According to Oracle, 51 billion devices run Java virtual machine. There are many devices where Java is currently used. Some of them are as follows. So let's talk about first mobile application. There are many programming languages that are being used to develop mobile applications and it can be installed or used on various platforms and Java is one of them, right? Because Java is the core language for Android, which is used to develop mobile applications that run on various platforms. If you are a mobile user, then you might have heard the name of Android, right? So I will tell you today what exactly Android is. Android is a mobile operating system based on a modified version of the Linux, kernel and other open source software. And it is designed primarily for touch screen mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets you know android and java micro edition i mean java me or j2 me is a popular cross platform framework that is used to build applications that run across all devices such as smartphones and tablets example of mobile applications are netflix tinder google earth uber these are all the popular mobile applications which are based on Java. Now let's move on to desktop graphical user interface applications. All desktop applications can be easily developed in Java. Java provides AWT, Swing or JavaFX API and this API helps us to develop graphical user interface applications such as button, list, menu, trees, table, scroll pens, top panels and several third-party components. Example of desktop graphical user interface applications are Acrobat Reader, Media Player, Antivirus, etc. So what is AWT, Swing or JavaFX? I will make a separate video on this topic so just keep watching my YouTube channel Dawa CIT. Okay, now let's move on web application. Web applications. Java is also used to develop web applications. You can find web applications everywhere on the internet. Many of these web applications are used to process online forms, tele, voting polls, take orders within online stores, allow users to book a flight for their next business trip or simply to display the user's login name. Everything we access these web applications on the internet with the help of browser. It provides a vast support for web applications through servlets structs or JSP. With the help of these technologies, you can develop any kind of web application that you require. You know, Sublet and JSP are the server-side components that are have to develop the business logic of the web application. Example of web applications are IRCTC, Amazon, Broadleaf, Gmail, Google Sheets, Google Slides, online banking and many more. Now let's move on to enterprise applications. Enterprise applications. Java becomes the first choice for the development of enterprise applications because of its robust, secure, powerful features and so on. So let's first know what is the enterprise application. Enterprise applications are a software solution that provides business logic and tools to model entire business processes for organization to improve productivity and efficiency. These organizations can include businesses, schools, interest-based users groups, clubs, charities, banks, 
government or any kind of global organization. WebLogic and EGB are used for creating enterprise applications using Java EE, that is Java Enterprise Edition. The Java EE platform is designed to help developers create enterprise applications. These applications are designed to solve the problems encountered by large enterprises. Enterprise applications are not only useful for large corporations, agencies, and governments, rather it also are useful, helpful for individuals, developers, and small organizations in an increasingly networked world. There are many companies use Java, like Nokri, Javang, Google, Mintra, Flipkart, Trivago, Evebo, TripAdvisor, Spotify, Uber, TCS, Infosys, SCL, Wipro, Pinterest, eBay, etc. Now let's move on to game applications. Game applications. Java is widely used for developing game applications. In today's era, game applications are very demand in the market and to fulfill this demand, Java is helping to make this kind of game applications. You know, Java has the support of the open source most powerful 3D engine, the JMonkey engine that has the unparalleled capability when it comes to the design of 3D games. The most popular games developed in Java are Minecraft, Mission Impossible 3, etc. There are some popular frameworks and libraries available for game development like Leaf JDX and OpenGL. Now let's move on to scientific applications. Java is also used for scientific applications such as calculations and mathematical operations. You know scientific related mathematical operations and calculations require developing apps that are extensively first, highly secure, easily maintained and highly portable. Java fulfills this need nicely. Some of the most powerful scientific applications are Matlab use Java for interacting user interface as well as part of the core system. Now let's move on to embedded system. Java is also widely used for embedded system. Java not only used in mobile, desktop, web and game applications, it is also used in embedded systems. You know, lot of electromechanical applications use embedded systems like microchips and mini computers to perform dedicated tasks in a system. Several systems such as SIM cards and televisions still use Java as their building block. This kind of application Java most widely used. Now let's talk about history of Java. Before the development of the Java language, C and C++ were the most popular and advanced technologies of the time. But they had one drawback that was a platform dependent. That's why James Gosling wanted to develop such language that is platform independent. It can be used not only in computer but also in other devices such as smartphones, tablets. That's where the idea of James Gosling projects started towards Java language. In 1991, James Gosling and his team members started project to develop a language for digital devices such as setup boxes, televisions, etc. The language was initially called Oak. Why Oak name? Because of the oak tree that stood outside Gosling office. Also went by the name of Green. And later Oak was renamed as Java in 1995 due to some reasons. Do you know that how the name of Java? Actually due to some issue he wanted to change the name of Oak. But at the time no name was coming up. After a lot of discussion, Jens Gosling and his team members took a break and went out for the coffee, which was close to the Gosling office. In that coffee cafe, coffee had a brand name Java Coffee. From there, the Java name was finalized by Jens Gosling and his team. And keeping the coffee cup in mind, Jens Gosling created original design of Java's logo. You may have noticed that the logo of Java is ditto cough shape. Right? The first version was released on January 23, 1996, JDK 1 1.0, called Java 1. After that, many versions are released with few features. The latest version of Java is Java 15. 
JDK 15 released on September 15, 2020. Here you can see the Java versions listed below. Hope you like and I will catch you on next video. Thank you so much for watching.